<laughs> accidentally started a cutscene. Yeah, we'll we'll just pretend Me. like there was every intention there. Yeah, absolutely, because we're talking to uh, Terraria Cheesecake. What are you? What were you doing with uh, Nekopara? Did you just call her a cheesecake? I called her Terraria Cheesecake. Okay, I'm just just checking. Yeah, I figured you did. All right. Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure. First of all, that was not a game. I mean, it just wasn't a game because it was super easy. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'm not using my white girl voice for her. What? You're telling me Tetris not like a valley girl? She is not white is oh what I'm getting at. Oh my god. No, no. Do you know who deserves the white girl voice? Someone that we'll run into later on. You, you, don't, you honestly don't know who I'm going to give the valley girl voice to. I, I just... No, I can't. I no. can't think. Here, here's a hint. It's not going to be a female character. Ooh. No, I, I have no idea. Oh, no. You're, you're not going to know until that character shows up and I start doing the voice. Oh, no, I really want to know. Because that's like my only voice I can do. Alright, that's not happening. I'm not finding it. You're still still looking up uh, your... I don't know. He's Ooh. so unimpressed. Oh, it's great. <laughs> they kind of ruined it by having him freak out. He should have just been like... <sighs> yep, that's me. Bet you're wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> See, piece of cake. See, it makes sense to call call her Terraria Cheesecake. I mean, I feel like you're grasping for some straws, but... Uh, but the, the, the straws are in the holder. <laughs> you, you weren't pointing at any straws. <laughs> this number two is my favorite face. That was the unimpressed face I was loving. I, I like how they were, were going for Also, you gotta love how all the pirates take orders from, like, a ten-year-old. Oh, yeah. Because of reasons. Oh, no. The sword, who, uh... I think it's just called the hero sword, actually. I, yeah. It's good that he fell in water. You just, I know. Sp like, splat down yeah, right I know. On, the, on the granite. But, man, we really shouldn't be here. It's pretty forsaken. <laughs> no, you gonna engage with me? Nope. Alright. <laughs> hey, listen! Uh, your sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. You're... I guess my aim was off by a little bit. I think you forgot like three exclamation points can you, there. Can you, can you, can you stop? Can you, can you not? I'm trying to read this Shakespeare. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! The look on your face. Priceless. Alright, I'm done with that. <laughs> How the hell was that Shakespeare? <laughs> 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 I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. What pocket? Um, is it, is we'll have it, to look behind. Is it his butt? I think it's his butt. I mean, he did pull it out of his ass. Oh my like, God. literally. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where hammer space is. Well, I mean, it usually exists like behind the back. So I wonder if uh, if hammer space and the phrase "pulling it out of your ass" count come from the same like root. It's like I hope getting something out of nothing, you know, is pulling something out of your ass, but it's also the concept of hammer space. Right. We're also not going to get caught. But yeah, you're too skilled. But like, Look, I played through the, the opening section of this game so much as a kid. If I get caught here, I'll be personally disappointed in myself. That's fair. I'll call your mother and tell her what... Tell her that I failed to yeah. do the opening of Wind Waker in one go. Because <laughs> she'll know <laughs> totally what you're talking about. Your son has failed miserably at a video game. And like ten minutes later... Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> so my mom would know who you are. Yeah, but she doesn't have my phone number. If I just called her, 
she just get a random because I, I don't even have I think she would still answer honestly oh she would I still have an Ontario number and that's not going to change because they were going to charge me 35 bucks to do it yeah I remember I almost gave someone I did give someone the wrong number because I saw an Ontario and I was like oh it wasn't Scott <laughs> Oh, no, I... Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I yeah. I remember that. And I was, as soon as I, I caught myself, I was like, wait, wait, wrong number. <laughs> Forgot about that detail. And it was too late. Because then she ended up getting the proper number. It is super awkward, though, because if... Oh, fuck. You good. Except, uh, but now I have to deal with this. Ah! Oh, right. In the barrel, in the barrel! <laughs> Actually, actually. We're just not gonna bother with that right we're now. Not, we're not gonna do that route because I remember, I'm pretty sure I can just go up here. Yeah, yeah, I can just go up here. But uh, it's super awkward uh, when somebody asks, like a store, say that they want your number, um, emphasizing uh, what the area code is. Because they think the area code is just the first three, or well, I guess the middle three digits. Yeah. I don't know. Why is it so expensive to change your phone number? I was considering changing my phone plan. Um, and obviously I would have gotten like a number. I would have gotten away with it too. If it weren't for these meddling uh, mobile service <laughs> providers. There we go. See, I'm good at video games. He's the video game boy. He's the one who wins. Do you, do you have to reference the thing we're not supposed to be referencing? Yeah. Like, is, is it just that ingrained into your body at this point? Nobody has called us out on it, so I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and say that it's okay. Yeah. But, you know, you, got, you, gotta, you gotta form your own uh, identity here. Come on. Okay, what do you want? Yeah, see? Oh, wait, it's fr behind a shield? Uh, maybe? How is that a pocket? Is the shield a pocket? Well, here, um, use your shield... And then we'll move the camera behind and see what we can see. Well, I... Yeah, whatever. I, I know how to do this. I don't know how to look you up. You can't... I, I, oh, you have to have... I, I, have to have, I have to have a weapon out. Right. It's... I don't... Maybe it's tucked in that belt? Maybe. I don't know. We may never know. The world may never know. Maybe that's for the best. What the world doesn't know. No, can't hurt Damn him. Damn it, I wanted to throw the pot at him before he could notice me. What? I'm gonna... No! No, I set it down! No! That seems like the worst time to put the lights up. You obviously have an intruder. There's probably more. I think the, I think the lights require constant operation. I think that's why. That... I, Look, maybe... he's an idiot. Yeah. He's also literally a goblin. I guess. Do you know how big goblins' brains are? Not very. Like, probably the size of a pea. See, that's where we need to go. I, I couldn't tell. I'm still trying to come up with a, a size of a pea joke, but... Um... Well, you, you could have made like the joke like the size of a peen and just... Make it a tiny dick joke. Was that already in this room? I think it was. Yeah. I went the wrong way. Intentionally. Ha 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 ha. So funny. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not making mistakes. I'm good at video game. I'm the one who Singular wins. video game. <laughs> I'm good at video game. Oh, do you like video games? Yeah, I love video game. <laughs> I love video game. With Zoltan. <laughs> Zoltan. Zoltan and Walterius. Or Walter. No. Walter! Zoltan. 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 Um. Oh my god, why is this. Like, dude, I was just saying names. Dude, where's my car? Oh! Zoltan! Oh, Zolt. <laughs> okay, now, that must be where my brain got the name. I am I am fairly sure either me or Zach owned a, um... <sighs> How am I blanking? Let me... The... the okay, there we go. The... <sighs> Zoroark or something like that? It's a Pokemon. Oh, okay, Zoroark, the... 
the legendary ish. The shape shifty one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we owned uh, one of us owned one called Zoltan because it was just like the thing to name it. Also, why was I watching Dude Where's My Car when I was like 11? <laughs> I don't know. Why do I own Dude Where's Up My Car? Why is Ashton Kutcher not a bigger part of my life? Now that being said, Ashton Kutcher already is a big part of my life. Yeah, I'm still, emotionally. I'm still a huge That 70s Show fan. Yeah, and the first of many, the joy pendant needed for an important side quest. I mean, you would wear the joy pendant if it get if it could get around your massive head. Uh, there are many. Okay, so we already did that one. So we did that one. Yeah. Again, an hour. How do you manage this game in an hour? It was definitely tool assisted. Again, maybe, but like you still have sheer travel distance. I mean, what counts as beating the game? Completing kill, killing uh, Gambit. Defeating the villain. Okay, but think of all the things you have to do just to get there. Yeah. Like, well, like, in a speedrun sense, you're skipping a lot of stuff, too. I guess. Yeah, because you wouldn't count cutscenes. Yeah, like, I, you wouldn't be doing this in a speedrun. No. Which this is. What do you mean doing what? Like, going into these pockets to activate the cutscene. Oh, no, no, no. But this is, also a cut, this is also a speedrun. This oh, is clearly. The speediest of runs. Yeah, we're already at, like... 40 yeah minutes. we're gonna beat it very soon oh yeah yeah this get, is gonna be a one session get ready for the one what well, this is yeah I'll, honestly it depends on how how good i am at video games which is uh very yeah but the fact that the first speed run was like or the, the speed hours. run that got beat was three hours like well, just... I, I i don't think that bodes well for us yeah, but I did the thing, so it's fine. Oh, good. Boom, 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 boom. That, it, I don't know why. I, every every bit of music is just... Maybe it's because we grew up with it, but it, yeah, it is. It's... it's. This is the Zelda game. The second. People who don't like Wind Waker don't have joy. No, that's true. If you don't like Wind Waker, you were already 20 when this game came out, and it was too late for you. I I don't know if we if we would have enjoyed this game if it just came out. Would we have enjoyed it as jaded adults? I don't know. I still have childhood joy. Yeah, but because we have this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the game's the, fault. This game is We singular. have childhood innocence still because of Wind Waker. Oh yeah, this game is singularly responsible. Actually, that's not true. Mar <laughs> Mario Sunshine, Pokemon Coliseum, uh, Pikmin. I never really got into Pikmin. Never, uh, I own Pikmin 3, mm. and I thoroughly enjoyed that. I never finished it. I owned Pikmin 2. I've been meaning to get, like, the Pikmin 1 and 2 that were, like, remade. Well, recontrol. I don't know what you would yeah. call it. The re-releases for the Wii. I... Come on, buddy. Come on. I think I liked being in, like, the, the small world and every, like, everyday objects being yeah. massive. I don't know. <laughs> that, was the, that was the first close call we had. But that's the thing, like, it's genuinely gripping. It's, it's the sound. Well, Boom. I bet you your controller buzzed, too. I think it did. I'm not sure. Because I buzz. So. You're just so used to it at this point. Yeah, okay, I'm still going with that. Do, do, do. Oh, did I, did I fuck up? How no, I don't think it is. Okay, I think we're good. Because if you don't get, like, this certain one of those guys mm, right. up ahead, it, yeah. they're shining right at it. Well, yeah, yeah. was there only two of them? Or? No, I, I, I didn't get all of them. 
Oh, okay, but you don't need to. But some of the ones that I didn't get, I don't need. Yeah, like, some of the ones that are still pointed down there. I think you can get away with doing all but one, because then you're guaranteed that there's plenty of space that's not going to be covered. Yeah. But can I really call this 100% playthrough if I don't get them all? Yes, I can, because I'm not getting them. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no metric that says No, get many... 100%ing is getting everything. Okay, but what counts as everything? Uh, every heart container, uh, like, every... the magic armor. I don't know if treasure charts are counted as part of it. Maybe. Because, like, you obviously couldn't get every joy pendant, say. No, Cause... but completing the joy pendant quest is considered part of it. Oh, yeah. So doing every every mission and getting every key item, I guess, would be the... Yeah. This is like in Pokemon. Like, there's a limited number of key items, but there are infinitely many... Pokemon. Like, Pokeballs. Yeah, like, 100% Pokemon consists of completing the Pokedex. Yeah. Yeah, because you pretty much have to get all the items in order to be able to even get everywhere in the game. Oh yeah, uh, my cat's running around like a holy terror, because she is. Right? You're a holy terror, huh? Oh, it's the other girls. The ones we will see later. The ones that we totally care about? Yeah, this controller does fight, right? Oh, uh, good. It adds to the experience. Also, this motherfucker <laughs> oh my God, yeah. was the bane of my childhood. And for the longest time, I considered, like, when you actually have a boss fight with him, because I believe it's a him, uh, to be my favorite Zelda boss fight, even though it wasn't challenging at all. Well, no. But it was satisfying. Well, and that's, that's the key. Yeah, up until, like, uh, Skyward Sword. Because, like, one of the last boss fights in Skyward Sword was, like, that was also very satisfying, even though it doesn't have the build-up. What? It was the golden automaton. Oh. Going with the six arms. That bird could have easily eaten you. Yeah. But luckily, uh, it's evil, so... Well, and the fact that you get thrown as far as you do... Like, we know exactly how big Hyrule is. Each square is a certain, like, distance. So, like, you got yeah. thrown... A, a very long way. Yeah, it was... I think it... Ball. Well, actually, maybe you just got thrown outside of Forsaken you Fortress got, and he you took got thrown you there. a certain distance outside of Forsaken. Yeah, because uh, the Bodie McBoat face would have taken you to the yeah. island. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It would have taken a long time, mind you, for reasons. What voice would you picture with uh, this boat? Like, the King of Red Lions? Yeah. I would picture a Valley Girl voice. <laughs> Really? <laughs> but in actuality, I would picture, like, this deep voice. But... Well, have you come to your senses yet? <laughs> You're, You're surprisingly, surprisingly dill-witted. Dill -witted. <laughs> Doll-witted, actually. Yeah, I just said dill. Dill-witted because I like Did dill. I startle you? Oh. My. God. Oh, I already regret this decision. He's Janice. Oh! I suppose ugh. he's only natural. <laughs> as I'm wide the as the world only is. boat. I'm the only boat, that's I all. I am the only boat, Chandler Bing. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do... I am the king <laughs> of red lions. And I'm not lying. All right, that's enough of that. That, that. That's enough of this episode. All right. Come. We'll just, we'll just let this pan, and uh, we'll see you next time.